All right. <clears throat> this is Kevin with K's Reloading and Gunsmithing. We're going to install a uh, Picatinny rail to a standard AR 4 in Then we're going to put a hand grip that also doubles as a uh, tripod or a bipod. Uh, also, be on the lookout in the near future. My uh, new website will be up. It'll be uh, customshooter.com, www.customshooter.com. I'm not sure if it'll be up before the first of the year, but we're going to try. Push down on the D-ring, which isn't always easy to do. It doesn't work. The four-end loose, which isn't always easy to do. Easier to use a four-end four removal tool, but you don't have to. A little bit of work, you can do it by hand. And here's the adapter. Uh, you can get this at Midway USA. I'm sure Brownell sells them. I've also uh, seen them at Walmart and other places. Basically, it'll fit on there about like that, matching up to the holes. You've got these adapters that fit into the holes on the back side of the fore end. And then a matching screw will secure it. Really simple and straightforward. Nothing to it. Get the first one just slightly snug. You don't have to get it real tight or anything. Just snug it. That's all you need to do. There we go. You may have to push it forward or back to align the holes so that you can install each of these. But again, that's not a big deal. It's not hard to do. Alright. Put the next one in. It's supplied with uh, three keepers. What I call them. And uh, five screws. <laughs> Not really sure why that is, but it is. All right, we got that one snugged up. Now to the third one. Which. Going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here. What I'm seeing here on the inside, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see how the inside of the handguard is open wider here. And it gets towards the back to where the third screw needs to go, and the grooves are just slightly smaller, narrower. And so for this little piece here to fit in there, we're going to have to widen those grooves a little bit. Um, let's see how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that with a Dremel. Which everybody should have a Dremel. One of these little universal chucks on them too. In fact, I've been lucky enough to acquire several Dremels.
Thing fits fine now. Perfect. I recommend that you do, if you have any problems like that, that you definitely put in all three screws. Uh, it's worth a little bit of extra work for the uh, extra security that that allows. It'll provide more strength for whatever you mount. This is an accessory rail. And uh, so you're going to be mounting just basically whatever you want to mount on it. <laughs> My alarm going off. Might have to disable that. The security cameras register in motion. Let's see. Try and make sure you've got it centered in your handrail. All right, we'll tighten it up. Doesn't have to be super tight. Just needs to be solid. Okay. I think my camera is running out of battery power, so I'm going to reinstall the hand guard. Accessory rails on it. Everything's looking good. I'm going to have to charge my camera, and I'll install the hand grip, the foregrip, like we talked about. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.